Hi right, guys, how are we doing? Today I've come down to Eastbourne Pier for a fish. I'm here with Cliff. He's just baiting up, we're just getting set up now. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this one. We ain't been fishing for a while to be fair. The weather's been awful. Uh, it's just been an absolute washout really. Uh, the last video that we recorded uh, didn't come out too good. We're obviously using new cameras now and things like that. So this is the first time out with the new cameras. So I'm hoping it's all going to come out well. Um, here's where we are and so we're at Eastbourne Pier. It's an absolutely great venue, absolutely fantastic. We'll pop up in a minute and have a chat with uh, the guy that runs the shop um, and see what kind of goodies are about in there um, that you can pick up if you come down fishing. Um, and we'll tell you about all the prices and how much it costs to, uh, to come fishing here as well. Uh, so Cliff's just getting ready to just cast out his first rod here now. We're just going to watch him do that. And, uh, and he's out. Let's do some fishing. Woo! Right guys, so if you want to come fishing down Eastbourne Pier, head right to the end of the pier, you'll find the uh, the fishing shop here, Eastbourne Fishing Shop. Let's go and have a look around then. So all the prices, and the price list is just there. Obviously you've got a yearly membership, and then uh, non-members prices there as well. I know a lot of people ask us, especially on our Facebook group. So there's all the details for you there. Shop's pretty packed with all the stuff that you're gonna need for a, for a day's fishing. Got all your lead weights there, bits and pieces. Line. Pre-made rigs as well, which are great for beginners. So I mean, if, if you're coming down in your beginner, you want to you know, have, a, have a fish, and you, you don't like making your own rigs, everything's there for you uh, to have a nice fish. Things like two hook flappers, Portsmouth rigs, Pennell rigs, everything's there. You've got hooks, bits and pieces, all lures, reels as well, and then all the bait that you need is there. So yeah, it's pretty kitted out. If you want to hire rods as well, um, you can do so as well, which is there. Right, then my rods are out. They're already out there now. Got one big mackerel just dropped straight down by the side of the pier. Um, two 8 hooks. A bit overkill, but you know, if there's something there that's decent and big, you might be able to nab it, you never know. On the other rod, on the uh, on this side here, um, I've just got a two hook um, rig. Just a small scratching rig just to see if we can catch anything, if anything's around. So we're fishing on the lower deck today. Uh, when you come to Eastbourne Pier, there's two options. You can either fish on the upper deck or on the lower deck. Um, heading over towards that way is the Sovereign Harbour and Langley Point and then to the other side we've got Beachy Head. Right guys, so my plan for today is to actually go big on one rod. So I'm, go I'm literally going big, I'm going for a whole mackerel which is here. So we've got two big 8 0 hooks in there and that's I'm going for a conga with that. Uh, a whole mackerel, just going to throw it out and just see how we get on. Uh, if there's anything around uh, it takes that, it's going to be big. Uh, on my second rod I'm just going for a, a short two hook flapper with short snoods. I'm just going to bait that with lugworm. Um, and just hit with a bit of squid. Our baits today, we've got lugworm, we've got mackerel, we've got bluey, we've got squid, uh, and we've got a bit of ragworm. So I'm just gonna get my first bait cast out now, and uh, we'll see what happens. Right guys, the baits we've got today, we've got a couple of bits of worm there, we've got some more worm in there, we've got the uh, obligatory squid, we've got some blueys, which is down there, and I've got uh, some large mackerel from the summer there that we're gonna use. That's all the bait. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some fish. And there we have it. First bites on the rod. Right there, you get some nice rattles on that, on the left hand rod, sorry. See if it's going to go again. There we go, nice rattles on the left hand side rod. Let's wind around and find out what we got now, I suppose. Right, so after the first rip hill that we lost, <laughs> coming up the uh, up the side of the uh, pier, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, it just curled itself up and just dropped straight off. Uh, we're getting a couple more bites on the left hand rod, uh, still on the small, small hook rig, uh, just scratching around for bits and pieces. So we're going to see. If this develops, if it carries on wriggling, then we'll pull it in and hopefully we'll be able to have a first fish of the day. It's turned out to be an absolutely fantastic day today. The weather forecast was really, really, really supposed to be really bad. Um, but yeah, the sun's out. Don't want to jinx it at the moment, but we know it's a nice day. It's a nice day for it. Right, so we've got no fish at the moment. Cliff is a lead up. So how do you feel, Cliff? I feel delighted. <laughs> this is the one I've just lost. It's going to be first fish of the day. Hopefully we can get it up. Right guys, first fish of the day, a small dab. Let's get him back in and we'll carry on the fishing. Pretty happy with that actually, one dab. I'm using the Tronic Scorella rods. I find these rods absolutely fantastic. Really, really good value for money. Uh, Akios Air Loop R10 reels, 30 pounds straight through line. I'm using two of them. Absolutely great bit of kit. Uh, rod fender on there as well. Just a great little bit of kit as well for protection against railings and things like that. So grab yourself one of them if you can. There'll be a link in the description with a discount for you. Well right, guys, fish number two, some dogfish there. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty good. One dab, one dogfish. There we go. Right, I'm back in the game. 
one tiny tiddly small pouty. There. Another fish, another species. Oh, I think he's got something, he's got something. What's he got? Oh, he's lost one on the way in. <laughs> I did have two. What have you got there, Cliff? One pout. One pout, one Percy pout. Well done, mate. One pout, and he lost one on the way in. <laughs> Happy days, <laughs> mate. Two. Right, guys, so Cliff is on a mission catching pouting at the moment. Um, I'm having a mess around. Um, about, about a couple of bites here and there, I'm not connected with anything at the moment. Uh, so the next baits going on are these ragworm here, which have been purchased from Tony's tackle shop by Cliff this morning. So they're going to be my next bait. Right, Cliff's having a couple of bites on these little rods he's just popped over the edge. Will it be a fish? What do you reckon, mate? What's the verdict? I reckon you... it will be a fish. I reckon there might be two. Yeah, oh, really? No, no, just one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look then. Let's have a look, see what we've right, got. Well, I do have three hooks out on this one, so. Okay. That's just a, that's just a short boat rod, isn't it? Short boat rod, short boat rod multiplier reel, it's cast over the edge. Do we have any fish on there? Oh, oh, yeah. there's a Percy pouting, I think. Yeah. Let's have a look then. Oh, and there he is. <laughs> a tiny little one. Tiny little pouting. Absolutely fantastic. Mate, you're on the pout today. I, I you you are literally. Pout right, guys, another new species for the books. We have got a small. Looks like a male spider crab. Absolutely hilarious. Clinging onto the bait for dear life. Oh no, beg your pardon. It is a, I think it's a female. Female, little female spider crab. Let's get it back here. I don't know, we're trying to find another fish, man. Weird looking bees, almost look alien like. Really weird. Very weird. And he's at it again, I'm calling it pout. <laughs> Oh, a different rig. What you got on there? What's baits on it? This one's a squid, the whole squid. Yeah. On a, a oh, nice. Just had a nice cracking bite on it, which missed it on the camera. Yeah. yeah. We're kind of in between the in between the uh, the, high, the high tide and the low tide. Oh, he's got an eel. He's got an eel. He's got a nice eel. That's a, that's a nice fish. I think that's fish of the day so far. Slowly get it up, Cliff. Slowly get it up, mate. That is fish of the day so far. We'll get a nice picture of that. Oh, 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 oh! He's gonna get in. <laughs> oh, will he get it over the barrier? That is the next thing. Is he gonna get it in? And that is it. That is, there it is. There we are. Well done, Cliff. That is Mr. Strap Conga. It was a pulley rig, not a ledger rig. Oh, on a pulley rig. But it was some squid. Hey, anyway, mate, you're in fish of the day now. Right. Honk, honk. Right, guys. So it's it's getting a little bit dark now. Um, bites have been a little bit hard to come by, uh, to tell you the truth. I had a massive bite. Uh, even the line went out, but I just didn't connect to it. Um, potentially, I think it could be possibly a bass. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll never know. We'll never know. Fish in the background over there, just, uh, just rebaiting up. I've got uh, two big baits out at the moment, and I'm just going to fish it um, into the dark, and we'll just, you know, see if any more fish come up. I like this what they've done as well. This is on the top deck. Um, you have a little table here which tells you all the sizes of the fish with some measures and some chopping boards for your bait as well, which is pretty handy. 
So yeah, that's a good little touch as well, I like that. Right, so it seems to have gone dark and the bikes have just ceased completely. It is like, like just nothing at all. It's quiet, it's calm, all you can hear is the waves and there's just no bites whatsoever. Which is a bit of a shame really, to be honest with you. I've changed location, I was fishing at the back of the pier. I've now moved to the end of the, uh, the pier at the bottom deck. I'm now fishing towards the, uh, towards the beach. Uh, so we'll see if that, uh, you know, changes anything or anything develops. I'm fishing a big squid bait and a big lug bait. Um, I may possibly switch down to some scratching rig again just to winkle a few more fish out before we leave. Um, but yeah, a bit disappointing really, uh, seeing as it started so well. But you know, that's fishing for you. Right guys, first fish I've seen for quite a while. Oh, a nice pouting that has now just gone down into the drink. Happy days. <laughs> I can't make it up sometimes, you literally can't make it up. Right, so we got, we got, round about, round about 103, I reckon if it was a bit straighter, it'd be about 100, 104, 105 ish. Oh, it's straightening them out now. There we go. Yeah, about 106. Right, we're centralizing the scales, we've got 6.79. Right, guys, so uh, probably the biggest congress to date, actually. Absolutely fantastic fish. Caught on a whole squid. There we go. Absolutely massive fish this one. Right, so a big, big bang, big slam. Thought we had another fish then, but uh, unfortunately no. Uh, but we did reel into two leads and a bit of lost tackle. So, you know, I'm happy to make a bit of money, but you know, <laughs> finding tackle is always a bonus. Yeah, a couple of leads, can't go amiss. Right, guys, eel number two. Absolutely storming night on the pier tonight. Absolutely fantastic. I reckon this one's about estimated four, four pound, four and a half pound, maybe five pound at a push. Um, I haven't got the scales, someone else is using them. So yeah, we're gonna get them back. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, absolutely awesome. All right, nose on the tail then. Let's go down. Oop. Straight. <laughs> Bit of a wiggle this one, isn't it? Straighten them out. 90, about 96 I think, 96. Yeah, so on the run the ledger rig, 6-0 hook at the top of the mackerel lip. That's the state of the mackerel after the eel. I must have hit it from there and hooked in the top of the lip there. Right and guys, just another little dogfish to add to the mix for this evening's fun. Absolutely tiny little tiddler on the worm bait. What a cracker session to turn out to be. Absolutely fantastic. Right and guys, so I don't know what just happened, but I just had an absolutely almighty bite absolutely massive um felt felt the fish on the fish felt really decent to be fair it felt like really nice knocking and knocking and knocking shouted over to the lads grabbed the net i thought it was gonna land it um unfortunately i didn't see what it was but it did clean cut through my line and then it was gone so um yeah uh, unfortunately that's gonna be the one that got away that'll probably haunt me for the rest of my life yeah it was proper big bite proper big fish but you know hey can't win them all can't win them all absolutely gutted we're going cliffs into a dogfish there, absolutely awesome. That's a nice size one, that one, mate. It's alright, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Right, guys, another one bites the dust. Another little dogfish. Absolutely awesome. Let's get them back in. Yeah. Look at the size of that pout. That is a gorgeous pout. Right, guys, another little dogfish. 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 Another I'm going to trust my gut instinct, we've got a half an hour session left. I'm going to hopefully pray that we'll be able to bag another big fish. Um, and we'll see if we can try and get another one. Man, what a session it has been, what a session it has been. Woo! And so be it, another one bites the dust. Right guys, what an awesome session it has been today on Eastbourne Pier. Fishing night, fishing day into night should we say. Uh, but now the time has come to pack up, so nothing really much happened. Um, well, on our last cast. I, I missed the last last minute fish, I don't know what it was, I had a couple of knocks and then I got I thought I got snagged, left it and then reeled it back in, nothing at all. So, you know, it is the way it is. But yeah, absolutely fantastic session on Eastbourne Pier today. Um, if you think about coming and fish the pier, I'll definitely highly recommend it. Go and have a chat with Dan, the guy that owns the shop at the end of the pier. Um, if you want to hire rods and things like that, he's got all the bits and pieces, as you've seen, uh, that you would need for a day fishing on the pier. Come down, have some fun, bring your children. Um, it's absolutely fantastic day out. So cheers again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys.